What's up guys, Grizzly Wizard here, welcome back to the channel. I'm reacting to The Legend of Korra for the very first time. This is Season 2, Episode 14, the finale of Book 2. Uh, we finally made it. Shout out to Nerd Chronic for editing this reaction for me and sneaking it past the Netflix blockade. Very excited to see how we're going to salvage a victory from the jaws of defeat here. Korra has been pretty badly thrashed. Rava has been allegedly destroyed. We saw all the avatars, the previous avatars being removed from like the spiritual plane. I'm not sure what it means other than Korra's going to have a really hard time beating this one. Um, Unalak has turned into evil Jafar from the end of Aladdin and he's ready to cover the world in darkness. So with one episode left, there's only 23 minutes to conclude this entire storyline. I have no idea what to expect. So without further ado, let's finish book two. General Iroh, are your ships in position? Yes, Mr. President, but I need to know what kind of enemy we're dealing with. Like none you've ever dealt with before. God, he's so big! Fire! It's not gonna do nothing. God, he turned himself into a kaiju! Oh, shit. No, that's Aang, you bastard! Have you no respect? Oh, man. That hurts. That was a cool transition, though. Sure is lucky they found some spirit water so fast, but I guess in the spirit world it must be pretty plentiful, right? Were you able to stop Undalak and Vatu? No. They fused, then Vatu ripped Rava right out of me and destroyed yeah. her. No. It's not over yet. I'm too young to live through 10,000 years of darkness. <laughs> Korra, can't you talk to one of your past lives? Don't worry, Bolin. You won't live through 10,000 years of it. I promise you. He destroyed my connection to the past avatars, too. If that's true, then... The cycle is over. I'm the last avatar. That can't be true. There has to be a way to fix this. Damn, Unalak, you're terrifying, bro. No, shit! Oh, well. At least it took out the engines and didn't just, like, cut it in half, because that'd be an instant death. Come along, Mr. President. Whew! At least Lynn got her hero moment. Like, he wants to rule the world, but is he... Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's just gonna level Republic City to do it. He doesn't care about having subjects to rule over. He just wants to rule over the rubble. Giant vines are destroying everything. This is Shiro Shinobi signing off. Ah! Well, looks like Varric gets to escape. Julie, commence Operation Winged Freedom. Oh, my God. She's got a hand glider backpack. <laughs> Man, I don't know how much you're paying Julie. It is not enough. <laughs> there may still be a way for you to stop Vatu. Let go of your attachment to who you think you are. And connect with your inner spirit. Embrace the fact that you are Korra the Avatar, not just a reincarnated Aang. This is the Tree of Time. And the oh. legends say that its roots bind the spirit and physical worlds together. I have read that long ago, the ancients would meditate beneath this tree and connect with the great cosmic energy of the universe. I wonder what it smells like in there. Korra, the most powerful thing about you is not the spirit of Rava, but your own inner spirit. Yes. Avatar Wan. Wan was just a regular person. But he was brave and smart and always wanted to defend the helpless. Yeah, does that sound familiar? <laughs> That's literally you, Korra. Connect to the cosmic energy of the universe. Don't bend the elements but the energy within yourself. Whoa. You really think I can do this? Yes, you can. I, I believe in you, Korra. God, Tenzin's so fucking cool. He's such a good teacher. Having his own little journey here really helped him know exactly what he needed to say to her. It's not just redemption for Korra, it's redemption for Tenzin too, as a teacher. Why hasn't one of you destroyed the other? He cannot destroy light any more than I can destroy darkness. Rava will be reborn. She just needs to find her. Find the light in the dark. 
Oh, wow. She's in her own little world between worlds. Find the light. Amazing. God, this has been a fantastic season. It's been all about finding yourself and self-confidence and figuring out your individuality, and it's, it's fantastic. Holy shit. And she's the size of Vatu now. <laughs> uh, what did you say to her exactly? <laughs> Amazing! Now kick his evil ass. And Unalak, in his, you know, infinite arrogance, thinks that he's completely won already and that there was no more threat to him. Oh my god, yes. Fuck him up, Korra. Korra's back! <laughs> <laughs> <Just a little giant>. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What? Oh! Oh! Overpowered! Yes! 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 Ah, uh, knee to the face! Come on, girl. Yeah! <laughs> this is like the most epic thing I've ever seen in this show. Holy shit, Korra. Can't destroy the light, though. They're coming for Korra. Hold the line! Come on! Come on, Korra. You got this still. Thing is, she can't dodge any of these blasts. Because if she does, it's going to destroy, like, a couple city blocks behind her. So, like, she has to take each one full force. No! This is a great finale. They've really, they really pulled it off for this one. Come on, guys. You can do this. Just defend the tree a little longer. Bullet, no! Whew! God. All right, fall back. Fall back! Yes. I am so done with spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you guys. Maybe stay focused though. You're so romantic. <laughs> Come on. With you out of the way, I will be the one true avatar. Never. Even if you defeat Cory, you won't be the true avatar. Mommy, it's Tenora. She's beautiful. What? <laughs> oh, I just got chills. Janora, what are you doing? Janora was carrying her. That's beautiful. Yes. Yes, restore the connection. This music is fantastic also. Oh, she's doing the dance that he taught her. Yes. Boom. Placated your ass. All of your angry spirit energy has been chilled out. Go in peace. She's so small, because Rava is like a newborn, you know? God, it's a whole army!
Yes! She's like way bigger than Vatu was now. She's like absorbed his part of the energy for the balance. As he gets smaller, she got bigger. Yes! What about Korra and the others? Don't worry. They're all right. Korra saved the world. <laughs> yes, she did, man. Yes, she did. She's a whole new person now. She's a whole new character after the things she's been through this season. Like, I really I feel like she's going to be a different kind of avatar now. She's learned so much. I love it. It's like the opening of an eye. The darkness is pulled back like eyelids. It's over. Is it fully over? Rava can't die. That means Vatu also can't die. He just sort of dissipated and dispelled into the atmosphere, but we need to have his ass locked away in that tree. So... I was thinking, I'm not really a fan of the long-distance relationship thing. So how about you move to Republic City with me? I will not be joining you, Bolin. Desna and I must return home. Why? But you said... Eternal darkness was upon us. I became caught up in the moment. Oh. Yeah. You're gonna break his heart? You will always hold a special place in the organ that pumps my blood. <laughs> Why? Why do you talk you like this? My turtle duck. No, oh, my little turtle duck. Are you also reconnected to your past lives? No. Oh. I think that link is gone forever. No. No, it's not gone forever. She can she can reconnect with the past avatars somehow. Probably just take a shit ton of meditating. Maybe I shouldn't. What if Unalop was right when he said the avatar shouldn't be a bridge between the two worlds? What if humans and spirits weren't meant to live apart? I think you should trust your instincts. There is nothing else I can teach you. You are the Avatar. Yeah, you are. It's a title that she has fully earned at this point. And look at Tenzin, just like offering her unilateral support doesn't matter what she decides. He's grown too. There's something I've been wanting to tell you about that fight we had. I know I said it wasn't that bad, but that's not exactly true. I, I broke up with you. I remember. But I thought you said you lost part of your memory. I did, but being inside the Tree of Time brought it back. Why didn't you just tell me the truth in the first place? I know I should have, but I didn't want to hurt you all over again. I, just... I feel like the fact that he broke up with her isn't the crux of the issue, though. It's the fact that he's now dating Asami, which he still has not told her. <laughs> Although it seems like he's kind of screwed himself out of Asami. She's not happy. It's... It's sad, but it's for the best, you know? It really is. Not everyone's meant to be together. <laughs> you want a hug? God, Bolin sliding in from off camera looking like a fucking NFT ape with that expression. I think Bolin is will always be my favorite character in this. The Southern Tribe is now independent, and the Southern Council of Elders has appointed my father, Tanra, to be your new chief. Very good. I realize that even though we should learn from those who came before us, we must also forge our own path. So that is why I've decided to keep the portals open. Okay. Harmonic convergence has caused a shift in the planet's energy. I can feel it. Things will never be the same again. We are entering a new age. Oh, I got chills. Boom, Jew. <laughs> Amazing! What an ending! What an ending to the season. Honestly, they fully nailed it. That was... That was emotional, that was powerful, I was fully invested the whole time. That was great! Yeah, I really enjoyed that. God, Korra has come such a long way from like the brash, headstrong, impetuous teenager that we first met in season one, and now she is making very important decisions and, and feeling the full weight of it and really like... being measured, being selfless, 
choosing what's right over what's easy. These are all things that she struggled with initially, and gosh, she's come such a long way. All like most of, honestly, all of the characters have had brilliant development. I really liked the the symmetry of finally defeating Unalak with the very dance that he taught her back in the beginning. That was really really cool. Um, yeah, I said it a couple reactions ago. I, I did start looking up um, opinions about this season, and it looks like it's pretty divisive. Not everybody really liked the way it shook out, comparing it to first season, some of the seasons that came before it. Um, and, and I can understand how the story could feel a little disjointed, considering how what we dealt with in the first season, and then this was kind of a departure from that. Um, but I, I didn't mind it. It didn't really do anything to interfere with my experience. In fact, I, I quite appreciated it. If you've got four seasons of a TV show, and all four seasons are the same long, overarching narrative, it can become kind of, I don't know, like, there's nothing wrong with a long, epic story, but it can get kind of drawn out if, if you have to dangle that conclusion and it's seasons away from coming to fruition. Um, so the fact that so far it seems like every season has been its own self-contained story, I think works a lot better for a show of this kind. It gives us opportunities to, like, spend a season in an area learning more about the way it works in this case the spirit world the interactions and the relationship between the spirits and the humans and going back on that history but then next season we get to explore something totally new and there's more world building to be found there's more lore to be established and so jumping around to these different stories i think is a better way of doing it um yeah fantastic ending to season two um i think my favorite i think the standout moment for me of this season is going to be nuck tuck and and the moving pictures the movers that was so funny. That was hilarious. And Varric is out there, right? He escaped with Julie on a stupid-ass hand glider, and now he's just out there in the wind. <laughs> so hopefully he shows back up in, a few, in, like, season three. I would really like to get more of his character. Because even though he's a total fuck-ass, he's really entertaining. And I love, I love it when he's on screen. So hopefully he comes back as well. Yeah, this has been fantastic. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to the finale of Legend of Korra, book two. Um, this reaction was edited by Nerd Karmic to comply with fair use down to 10 minutes of licensed footage. But if you want to check out the full-length, uncut version of this reaction, it is available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!